I was meeting with someone the other morning and uh, a question came up, which is a common one and one that I often am exploring here and speaking about. And that is this sense of um, you know, having realized something, having a, you know had an insight, um, an experience that feels somehow seminal in some way in terms of uh, your understanding of the nature of things and and then that feeling of somehow having lost sight of that right that that, that experience of course goes away and and one of the things that that I was exploring with him and wanted to just touch upon this morning as we get started is um in our search for that which whatever it is we're searching for in life that we hope to realize that we hope to bring forth somehow we hope to discover is that we we have a a very strong tendency to um imagine that it's found in particular moments and that when other moments are arising somehow that it's been lost i mean that's basically what happens right I mean, if we, in other words, if we believe that whatever it is we're searching for is not here now, then we've essentially, maybe without really thinking or realizing this, we've equated it with particulars. In other words, there's something about the particularities of this moment that must not be it. Otherwise, what, what I'm searching for, whatever you want to call it, you know, well-being, um, freedom, God. <laughs> so... So not surprisingly, we would have this sense if we're looking in particulars that it's going to come and it's going to go and then we go back to look for it again and then we feel like we've got grabbed hold of it and then it slips away again. So the key from my standpoint is to discover what doesn't come and go. Or if we want to feel that this somehow kind of kind of stabilized in some way, um, what is it that doesn't come and go? In the face of all that's so obviously being lost, like we're just losing, well, we lose everything. We lose every experience just gone, right? Every circumstance gone in the sense that everything's transforming, right? We lose everyone in our life eventually. Sometimes we lose them sooner than we might wish to lose them. Either the relationship comes apart or the person passes away. Most of us lose our parents before we pass away. Um, we lose jobs. We lose moments, right? We we lose we lose everything essentially. Moment by moment, we're losing. <laughs> uh, everything is departing, right? Nothing remains. So, in the face of all of that constant disappearing, that liquefying of reality. What is it, if anything, that remains? And while there's no word for that, I, I, a simple word is that this, this, this remains. This reality. I mean, notice right now, as everything is, we could say, arising and passing away just ceaselessly right now. You know, thoughts arising, feelings, emotions arising, disappearing, transforming, all the sensations of the fluidity of this, the const that's its constant arising and passing away. But there is a sense, isn't there, that a constancy that this, this that's here in all its myriad shapes and forms and appearances it always is. It always is. Right? Feel that. Feel that this cannot be lost. This reality. Call it experiencing. The flow of experiencing. It's always happening, isn't it? And right there, that's the discovery of what doesn't come and go, the flow of experiencing. It always looks different. It always 
um, looks however it looks, which is its incredible, remarkable diversity, every appearance unique, right? distinct one from the next seemingly. But all of it, all of it is experience. In its fundament, its experience, its, its life. And that flow of experiencing remains, doesn't it? It's very strangely, magically, you could say paradoxical, right? That it's always vanishing always slipping away and in its constant slipping away it's immediate slipping away it is not something you can grasp hold of and right it's not a thing that can be grasped hold of in its dynamism we talk about this all the time it never really becomes something fixed it's more, more in a state of constant becoming it seems just constant flowering constant opening but always being, it's always here, even if it's constantly seems to be becoming some different version of itself. So our tendency is, oh, there's that version that feels like freedom or joy or liberation or oneness or, or, or just contentment, whatever. And then of course that lets go of itself as everything does and releases itself in the moment of its appearing. and. We wonder why we seem to have a hard time holding on to whatever it is we've discovered because just, you know, it's just, but feel that release of everything, but this strange sense that something always is, that this, this constancy of experiencing can't be lost. So you have some experience, whatever, you listen to a talk, you read something, you Something just happens, grace arises. You're in meditation, you take some psychedelic. It could be any infinite number of things that might seem to catalyze a moment of some sort of deeper understanding or realization or awakening. And then it disappears. It seems like it goes away. It seems like it's been lost. And then of course, in the very moment where you might describe as having lost something, there's something there, right? There's something present. Well, that's what hasn't been lost, is the something present, the something here, that flow of experiencing, you see. So we orient to how it seems to be descriptively, and from that perspective, it's constantly being lost, and we'll never be able to hold on to it and sustain it and abide in it, as or whatever you want to call it. And But, but this naturally... It's self-sustaining as itself. It's just reality. It's just, you feel that. It's... You could say the feeling of the moment. The felt sense of the moment is never absent. Even if the moment always looks different, it's a primal sense of something being felt, something being encountered, something here. It's like a drone, you know, in Indian music. The drone just keeps droning away while the other instruments are playing all this complex melodic harmonic stuff and the drone just keeps going. The drone of this, the constancy of this, the indestructibility of this Always here, always here. Always vanishing, always here. Impossible to lose. So now, why that's so profound and liberating and is now we're seeing that which is unconditioned. We're now we're not conditioning what it, whatever we're wanting to have in our life on particulars because that's just a fool's errand because 
that's not stable. That's not reliable because that is just constantly being swept away by the nature of reality. What can we count on? We can count on this. This is the stability. This is the ground that never slips away. And, and it's unconditioned by what it looks like. So it could look like a mind at rest and at peace and equanimous, and it can look like total agitation and chaos. And it's still this, right? That's what I mean by it's unconditioned. And that's what we are. That's what everything is, is this unconditional, ever-present presence of reality itself, appearing as all this coming and going, but So that can be a little trick if you find yourself, oh, wow, like I'm, I've lost contact with it somehow. I'm off in some whatever seeming uh, problematic narrative of life and situation. Look again and see, is there something that hasn't been lost? And right there is this ground that's the ground of everything is never lost, right? There it is. It's always proving its presence because <laughs> it's, well, it's the only thing that exists. And that's what everything is in its basis. It's, it's just this flow of experiencing that can take an infinite number of seeming forms, but is always remains itself the flow of experiencing which doesn't really tell us what it is of course it's just a word experiencing but i mean what it is is i mean what is experiencing it's completely unknowable what it is right it's it's indescribable it's unfathomable and everything is that indescribability fundamentally right even though it seems like we're able to describe all sorts of stuff <laughs> um, all this diversity of experiencing at its root none of it can be determined as to what it is you know to pinpoint that's that's what joy is that's what sadness is that's what agitation is that's what peace is that's what the world is that's what the self is it seems to live in this world it's it's um So it turns out, funny enough, that this ever-present ground that can never be lost is a strange sort of ground in the sense of, you can't really say what the ground is. It's not really a thing. It's just a infinitely bottomless, bottomless well of being. But you can't say what being is. And even if it seems like we go way out on the edges of elaboration and description and narrative and seeming to believe in all the descriptions as being what's true about the moment, that's just the way the groundless, indescribable ground is appearing as seeming describability. That's its dance much of the time, it would seem. That's how it seems like there's a world and human beings existing in the world and the whole thing, right? It, it very much seems like all the forms have a kind of uh, coherence and uh, form to them and describability it's, uh, and identity, but Thank you.
just feeling the impossibility of ever losing this. For any moment that we might feel as if something's been lost is this. And then a moment where it feels like, ah, oh, I found it again. That's this. And then in another moment, it feels like, where did it go? That's this, <laughs> you see? This is indestructible. Man. The only thing that exists. This unfathomable mystery that shines forth as everything that we see.